Hey Airstreamers, this is a follow-up to what I was doing with wiring in from the shore into the trailer. This is a 1970 Safari 23 ground up build by me. And so if I'm doing this, you better realize that I'm doing this. <laughs> so this is the way I'm doing it. I'm showing you. I think it's the right way. I believe it's the right way. Um, and this is how it goes. I've already drilled my hole in the side. You saw that in the first video. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this, I got the stainless, this is a 30 amp, 125 volt, it's going in the outside. What we'll do is we'll place this, and I'll show you, we're going to place this, draw our holes to drill, drill our holes, then we're going to take, we're not going to install this, we're going to make it easy on ourselves, we're going to leave this off, I think this is the way to do it, I think it seems smart to me anyway, leave that off, take it off, run my... 10, 3, A <laughs> Screech, back it up guys. All right, all right, scratch record, back it up. You need not 10, 3, which is four strand, you need 10, 2, which is three strand. So this is what you need, screech it back. <laughs> this is the wire you need to run from the inlet to your power power block, your power center. <gasps> hey man, aren't you glad I told you? You could, that, this is for 15 feet, $50. The other one was 15 feet, $70. So I get to have that wire for a while and see what I can do with a $70, 15 feet of wire. Okay, sorry about that. 10, two, and 15 feet should be plenty, but golly, if you've already got it, just remember 10 is the magic number. And two, it's kind of magical too. AWG, wire through the hole and wire it on the outside and then push it all back through. That way we don't have to get in there and get all awkward with it while it's in, in the mount. And then we just push it all back in with the rubber, with the rubber gasket in between. So the rubber gasket and then, then the, the uh, actual plug. And then we're going to screw that all in with stainless steel, steel screws that we have. So here's a word on this wire. It's stupidly expensive now in 2023. And Southwire has a factory here. And I've done some photography in that factory. I know Southwire. This stuff is uh, from Southwire right here in Denton, Texas. Probably. Who knows? They probably imported it. <laughs> it's an international company now, I think. Um, but anyway, number 10, AWG, three, three of course, three, three wire. And the reason for that is in the instructions for the plug, it, if you use anything smaller than that, it's going to create a, a roadblock right there at the plug and generate heat. If you generate heat, you generate smoke, you generate smoke, you generate fire. So you don't want to skimp coming into the trailer. And then what we're going to do is we're going to run around the edge here where the gaucho is going and uh, right around the power center. I've decided to put, oh God, you got to see the power center. Here's a little forecast for you. Man, this guy is pretty wild, don't you think? I mean, it's pretty complex. So this is it. Um, the power goes in, the power comes out, it comes out in, in 12 volts, converted, converter. And there's a video, I'll put it in the link. This guy really goes through it nice and slow. I don't think I could do it the way he does it and do it as good by any stretch of the imagination. So hit his video for a detailed look at what each little piece and part of this, uh, and I'll, I'll send you a link on that too for your power converter. Um, so that um, you can see those and figure out what you need. But from there, go through the wall. Uh, we're coming through the wall, and then we go around the edge of the gaucho. And I decided to put all my power center and everything at the front and center of the trailer because fewer people will sit there. And if we're generating, a, you know, like charges and electricity and batteries and all that, I don't want to be sitting on it. I don't need I don't need to reproduce or anything, but maybe somebody in the future will. And uh, we're going to keep the electricity off of the uh, private parts and see, or I mean, ambient energy off of the private parts. 
so that nobody has any worries about things like that. Thanks for watching, guys. This is a short one. Now let's cut away and go look outside at what we're gonna do to get this thing running through the wall in my 1970 Airstream Safari 23 foot or single axle. Unusual trailer. Draw your circles. Right here and right here is fine. You know, one thing I usually include on all my in intrusions into my trailer is a backing plates to the screws made out of aluminum. But we're gonna try it without this, without this this time, and just kind of see. Um, we're just gonna see um, if it holds the water out. If it doesn't, we'll put, come back, take it out, put backing plates in. You can also use Sikaflex on the screws um, as a penetration prevent. And there we go, there's the holes. A little bit off right there, a little bit right there, but we're gonna use a 1 8 according, I believe that's what it says on the instructions. I'll get back to you, put it in the, put it in the uh, information. But we're gonna go ahead and do this. And that wire, see what we're gonna do, we're gonna take the wire out, put the gasket here, wire it up, shove it all back in and put the screws in. After we've drilled the holes. Okay, we got our holes marked and we're gonna go nice and slow with the drill. Not press too hard, don't wanna suck any of that insulation out. Here's your actual inlet. And unfortunately, 10-3, which I should have had 10 10-2 wire sticking out. There it is. Green is your bare wire. The silver screw is for the white, and the black screw is for the black. Thanks for watching, guys. Like and subscribe. We'll do more videos if you do.